activist, and also an activist with a campaign to free political prisoners in Iran against CFPPI. On behalf of CFPPI, I would just like to uh, welcome you all to this 13th anniversary of the 20th of June, which is the International Day in Support of Political Prisoners in Iran. It was in 2010 when CFPPI announced 20th of June as, a, in, as an international day to support the political prisoners in Iran and invited everyone, human rights organizations, trade unions, concerned individuals and organizations to join CFPPI and demonstrate their oppositions to what was happening to political prisoners in Iran. And they, the call actually picked up and there were like 50 demonstrations across the world. Hundreds of people participated and showed their opposition, strong oppositions to the Islamic regime and how they are keeping political prisoners in Iran. So you might ask why 20th of June? Well, 20th of June, it's a significant point in the struggle of Iranians against the most brutal regime on earth. One of the most brutal regimes on earth. And why 20th of June? Because on 20th of June, two years after the Islamic regime hijacked the real revolution on the street and came to power, they started opposition cleansing. They did opposition cleansing by executing anyone, member of a political party or an individual, for just having a leaflet, pamphlet, reading something, a page, not even a book. So they were sent to execution. They executed three to five hundred individual activists every single day. You can just imagine, by firing squad or by hanging, how long would it take to execute three to five hundred people every single day? They executed over seven thousand people over a few weeks' time. It is ironic that it was the Islamic regime 44 years ago, but it is the same Islamic regime that is in power now. In fact, Raisi, which calls himself a president in Iran, was part of the judiciary system who sent all these political prisoners to execution chamber. And instead of him being on international court in this very city, Hague, to be trialed for crime against humanity, he calls himself president and travels to South America, travels to the, across the Middle East to buy legitimacy for the most murderous regime in Iran. Or on earth actually, not in Iran. So, the crime didn't stop in 1981. It was the start. Established, it's the Islamic regime wanted to establish power. And this is, goes across the regime. From Khomeini to Khamenei to Raisi and also to the IRGC, Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corporations. They all have their hands and have been having their hands for 44 years to put in so many people to prison, arrest them, send them to prison, rape, torture execute continuously on a daily basis for 44 years. This has been going on. And we can see that there was at so many periods, there were different demonstrations in 2009, in 2020, when Neda Asotan was murdered by snipers on the roof in 2009, or Mahsa Amini was murdered by the Islamic regime, which led to the Women's Life Revolution in last September, and it still continues. Nothing has changed. The Islamic regime is the same Islamic regime. It's, a, it, it's what has been doing all these years. So therefore, we have gathered in here to have to uh, 
mark the anniversary of the 20th of June in Hague, Netherlands. So, once again, I would like to welcome you all to here, and we have seven speakers. I will read all their names, and then my colleague will introduce them one by one and read their profile. So our speakers are Tut, and it's uh, Madeline Rees, Ruben uh, Brecklem, and uh, Shiva Mahubi, Azore Sharma, Panis Goji, and Dr. Reza Muridi. So I will invite my colleague to come and introduce the first speaker. And please give a warm welcome to the first. 